And honestly, I'm just going to get vulnerable with you here for a minute. Do we have any mamas here with little babies or medium babies or big babies or really big babies? Um, no, but they know I love them, so they're okay with that. Here's the deal. The biggest obstacle I continue to face today is that guilt of when I'm leaving to go to a rap party or when I'm traveling to launch a new group in another city, when I miss a baseball game or when I miss um, a reward night or when I miss a tournament. Sometimes it's the practices. Mom, you haven't seen my practice in a while. Uh, it could be the not helping with homework at night or getting them to bed. Mom, will you tuck us in? You haven't tucked us in in two nights or, you know, so it's, it's some of those guilt feelings. And honestly, it's what we have to focus on because it's all about perspective. And we can think about the fact that they're seeing the backside of us as we leave, or we can think about how we're teaching our children to dream, how we're teaching our team that they're worth it, or our kids that they're worth it. Our kids are our primary, the first people watching us and learning from us. So, you know, and I, I always looked at it as the sacrifices that I was making to build a dream life for my family. And yet today I think, oh my gosh, those were not sacrifices. They were investments. I did not miss one baseball game of Landon's this year, and he's stinking awesome. And I love to be there when he hit his first home run out of the ballpark this year. And that was because of it works. I love to say, Landon, we're going to Mackinac Island. He said, please tell me you got a suite. I cannot stay in a regular hotel room. And I'm thinking, is he kidding me right now? Like, I stayed in the suite for the first time, like, probably when I was 20. Um, so, or he's never had to drive in a car for a long distance. You know, we fly everywhere and he flies private. They think that's normal. They go to a Christian school where, like, they're constantly being poured into and lifted up and loved on and taught about Jesus. They have no idea the unique position they're in, but I do, and I know what it took to get there. And every time I had to say no to the good so I can say yes to the great, I'm thankful for the investments I made in my business. And I have turned that obstacle into an opportunity for my family's life to be changed forever. I like that. Whew. That's good. Preach it, girl. Let's go. I got chills. I'm so excited because it's such a hang up for me. Yeah. Because I'm their mom and I want to be a part of all that. I want to make their lunches. I don't want them to say, did you make this or did the girl that helps at the house make this? And I'm like, well, I hired her. So it's kind of like I made it, you know? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Denise, I'm going to take the same question to you. What's one of your biggest obstacles that you faced on your journey to the top? I think the biggest enemy of this business is life. Has anybody ever had life happen while they're, yeah. I can tell you all of us have, you know, we've been in the business nine and a half, 10 years, what is it, seven, eight? Seven. And uh, life has happened to all of us. We've had ups and downs, we've had family issues, crisis, we've had deaths, we've had babies, we've moved, I've had nursing hormones, like, it can be crazy. Um, but one of the things that we've learned to do is to stay focused on what we want despite the outside ups and downs because you can't ride this business like a roller coaster working it when you're hot and then dropping off for months where you call it the bipolar distributor like um, you, you can't do that you have to stay focused and and decide that whatever life throws at you you are going to stay focused and plow through it um, and and I think that we've all learned to do that Stephanie, what about you? What's one of your biggest obstacles you've had on your way to the top? So I think a lot of people do the comparison thing, but I did say that a little bit earlier. But I think um, time, how we fit everything in. Because like Denise said, we have life that happens. But what you need to learn to do is it works is your life. So live the blitz. Live it works in your everyday life so that people know constantly what you're doing. So even if you're at a job, which most people in here are probably, they still have a job. And if you're out, you know, I got used to saying, well, I do It Works, and people would say, well, what are you up to now? Now, well, I'm a distributor for It Works. Oh, really, what is that? So I learned really quickly that It Works immediately was my life rather than looking at it as obstacles of, well, you didn't have money, we didn't have money at the beginning, so how are we gonna work this business? Um, I didn't look at 
the obstacles. I use the obstacles as fuel to get to where I wanted to be. So we are always going to have those in our life. It's never going to be a time that we don't have an obstacle. It's how we use those to actually use it to help grow through that season of obstacles. I like that. Joel, what about you? Biggest obstacle you've had in your journey to the top? Uh, me. I mean, honestly, if you guys want to be honest, the biggest obstacle for anybody in this business is the brain that you have. And the reason why is because you kind of defunct yourself and default yourself to thinking that you can't do this. And you need to get up and get out of your way so that you can become successful. Get good information from good people. Surround yourself with good people. Uh, I think one of the greatest things that I've ever heard is that uh, successful people look at obstacles as opportunity. You have the opportunity to become the best you you have ever been through this company. Now, I want every single one of you to become a millionaire. Deep down in my heart, I want that because I know that there's so many good people in here and what they're gonna do for this world with that money. But I don't want you to become a millionaire to have the money and be a millionaire. I want you to be a millionaire because of who you have to become to earn that million dollars. And that's what's so important is you're gonna grow and this is gonna stretch so far that you're gonna look back and be like, who is that weirdo that started this? I like that. Brandon, what about you? Biggest obstacle you've had in the business? I would say uh, staying balanced. We left behind kind of a, a simple, unfulfilling life with a nine to five to and traded it for a very busy, very fulfilling life, uh, which includes, you know, taking lead calls during family dinners and doing webinars during bath time and, and that kind of thing. And um, that can really pile up on you if you're not taking time to exercise and have quiet time and prayer and date nights. And um, that stuff becomes really important or else you'll, you'll start to resent it works and the hard work that it takes to become successful, so. All right, well, I've got one last question. I'm gonna start 